33. So looks like we have three sequences to work on. So first we want our beaver to move two in that direction. And then our beaver is going to fill four. So I'm going to repeat. And if you're skipping this step and then getting stuck, it's because you shouldn't be skipping this step. Testing one complete sequence that you want to repeat and making sure it works is important. So now if I look, if I say to the beaver, do it again, we're going to move, move, and then drop. Seems like it works. So now I'm going to get my loop and then I want the beaver to repeat that sequence three times so all of these blocks go in there. And now when I run it, it's going to work correctly. 